He's been where only the few have been, risked his life in the harsh vacuum of space, and in doing so helped build the International Space Station. But now Piers Sellers has just 18 months to live. I was diagnosed with cancer in uh, late October. Uh, I'd been feeling rough for about you know, nine months, six months, uh, getting progressively iller. So uh, I knew something was wrong, so it wasn't a total surprise when I was told. Um, the uh, outlook in terms of you know, expected longevity, that was a bit of a shocker. So I'm trying to live life at uh, 20 times normal speed right now. Piers Sellers flew on three space shuttle missions between 2002 and 2010. He was awarded an OBE for his services to science. But unlike Tim Peake, Britain's first official astronaut who's on the space station right now, Dr Sellers had to become a US citizen to pursue his dream. It's delighted that Tim Peake finally got to go there with a British flag on his shoulder. That's, that's really great. And uh, he's doing terrific. This is the key thing. This Dr. Sellers' achievements are celebrated at Cranbrook School, where he studied. Staff and pupils are saddened by news of his illness. We're devastated at the news. Piers was and is a great ambassador for this school. It's so tragic to hear of his illness. He's done more in the years that he's had here than most of us do in much longer lives. Piers Sellers says he will stay at work for as long as he can, helping study the Earth's climate. His colleagues say it will be difficult to fill his shoes. He's been an astronaut. He has more than 40 hours spacewalking. And he uh, describes it very eloquently. He's able to express in words which all of us can appreciate and feel what he's saying in a way that is very unusual. And so many of us regard Piers as one of our earth science champions. Piers Sellers says he has no complaints and has told his friends he wants no one to feel sorry for him. John Hunt, BBC South East Today.